Hey, it's GED question of the day time, and I actually gave us a little brain teaser for this question of the day. I have to tell you the truth, I'm a little nervous about working this one um, online because I'm afraid of the internet trolls. Because um, just like you, when I look at this problem, I don't know what's going on, and I'm about to try to figure it out in front of you. Um, and you get to see that I won't always go the right way. Um, but let's take a look here. I don't, I don't know what's going on. I, I have a grid. I can see that. Um, and I think these things, it seems like these pictures up here must represent some numbers that I don't know, and I'm trying to figure them out, because directions say find the value of each icon in the table below. So I guess it's like kind of algebra, but Mario algebra, huh? Um, so let's see here. I got a ghost, the number two, and a mushroom growing across this side, and a ghost, a mushroom, and those little, I don't even know what they are, the little ball and chain bitey things for Mario. There you go. Going across this side. And, uh, and, uh, looks like if you do your grid, you get some answers. So like a ghost and a ghost, give me one. Uh, I could be adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, raising to a power. I don't really know. So that's what I'm kind of thinking about. Like a ghost plus a ghost. What if it was plus? It'd have to be a ghost plus a ghost equals one. They'd have to be a half each. I don't like that. Um, if it's multiplying, it'd be a ghost. One a ghost times a ghost equals one. A number times itself equals one. It'd have to be one because one times one equals one. Could be that. It couldn't be subtracting, because if you took the same thing and divided by the same thing, it'd always give you zero. And it couldn't be um, dividing, because then any time you had the same thing, you'd get one. But look here, when I had a mushroom and a mushroom, I didn't get one. I got 25. Okay, so my best guess here is that I'm multiplying. So let's play it out, see if this works for us. So I think that this little ghost is one... Like a one times a one is a one. Uh, let's see if that works for us. Okay, so then that would mean one times what equals five. Um, that's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at this number now and this number uh, coming together to make five. So one times what equals five? Well, that'd have to be five. So does that make sense now for my 25 now? It sure does. Look at that. Oh, I'm smart on camera. I like when that happens. Five times five equals 25. Hey, this is working out for me. Okay, so let's fill in the numbers we don't know here. So 1 times 2 would have to be 2, so that little bullet would have to be 2. 1 times 5 is 5. Yep, that checks. I expected my mushrooms to be 5. 2 times 5, oh, he's got to be 10. Okay, so um, 1 times this number is the same number. Of course it is. I can't do that right now. So let's come to here. Here we go. 2 times what number is 12? Okay, okay. So again, I'm looking here. 2 times what number equals 12? Well, it'd have to be 2 times 6. Okay, great. So 6 times 5 would make this guy 30. And 6 times 1 would make this guy 6. Okay, I think I got it all figured out. If I'm right, my ghosts are worth 1. My mushrooms are worth 5. My little bitey balls are worth 6. That's Bowser, I think. He's worth 10. My bullets are 2, and I don't even know. This must be from a Mario I've never played, but whoever he is, he's worth 30. Okay. Um, you know, I wasn't given a lot of directions with this. I found a pattern. Did you find a different one? Is there another way to do this? I'd love to hear from you. Um, also, if you have any questions about my logic or my reasoning, or you found a hole in it, um, I'm not perfect. Uh, drop it in the comments below. Let's chit-chat about some mathematical reasoning.